you're watching the Run Fruit YouTube channel. I'm Finlay and this episode is on the brand new Brooks Glycerin Max running shoes which will be released on the 1st of October. Brooks kindly sent us a pair for testing. So in this episode we're going to cover the tech, how they feel to run in, how they fit and what they're best suited to. Hope you enjoy. This is a very exciting episode as these feature a brand new midsole compound called DNA Tuned. And this is completely different from anything Brooks has previously produced. This is a super critical foam that technically features two materials. The white section of the midsole consists of larger cells and the greater displacement of these larger cells is designed to deliver a very soft and forgiving underfoot sensation. In contrast, the coloured section of the cushioning you can see on the bottom here, the yellow part, that's made up of smaller cells and that's designed to deliver a more energetic and more responsive sensation. But what's most impressive is that the two materials have been combined together to make one mould. If you think the midsole looks pretty stacked, then you're absolutely right. The heel is 45 millimetres high and the forefoot is 39 millimetres high. So these are categorically maximum cushioned running shoes. You should also notice the curve from the heel to toe. Now, this rocker shaped geometry named Glide Roll technology is designed to work alongside the cushioning to deliver ultra smooth transitions from landing through to takeoff. So the result of the midsole should be very soft landings followed by energetic and springy toes. The upper is made from a triple jacquard mesh. That's right, not a double, a triple jacquard mesh. And that is designed to deliver the best level of comfort possible. There's also quite a lot of padding on the tongue and inside the heel counter. This like lean back design to the heel at the back is designed to reduce pressure on your Achilles tendon, or at least it should reduce pressure on your Achilles tendon, and it also makes it easier to slip the shoes on and off. There's also quite a lot of outsole rubber, so they should offer very good levels of durability. The big question then, how does DNA cushioning feel to run in? What well, feels completely different to anything that I've ever experienced from a Brooks running shoe. The softer section of the midsole feels unbelievably forgiving and plush at landing. If you're a heel striker like me, you'll just find it feels so protective. As you start to transition through the midsole, you start to feel that energy return and propulsion from the more responsive feeling foam. You can also feel the rocker geometry tipping you forward to and creating that extra forward momentum. The result is just a ridiculously comfortable underfoot experience and essentially it delivers everything that you could possibly want from a midsole. I pretty much took them straight out on a 20 kilometer run and every step from the first to the last felt absolutely amazing. Naturally, you might think this high stack midsole could feel quite unstable, but that is not the case. Even though the cushioning feels incredibly plush under your feet, there's an integrity to it that creates a very structured and very stable sensation. And importantly, there's absolutely no bottom out in the midsole, which is quite a common problem in max cushioned running shoes and particularly in models which feel very soft. And that's probably why the rocker geometry feels so good in this midsole. In terms of pace, as you'd expect, these feel brilliant for the slower pace miles, particularly if your legs are tired. The cushioning just feels so comfortable and it's taking so much stress off your working muscles and joints. So it's a brilliant choice for those recovery runs and slower pace miles. But what may surprise you is how good the cushioning feels as you pick up the pace and you're moving along at steadier efforts. When I was doing the 20 kilometer run, I was trying to hit an average pace of 430 minute kilometer pace, but I kept having to slow myself down and apply the brakes. The cushioning was just making the pace feel so easy and I could have easily been running 10 to 20 seconds faster per kilometer without really any more effort. So the cushioning doesn't just feel good at those slower speeds, it has the ability to cover an amazing amount of ranges. From a distance perspective, I think it's going to be pretty hard to find 
a running shoe that actually feels better for longer distance runs than these the cushioning is just so protective and comfortable but equally if you just want to take them out for a 5k and do the easiest 5k that you possibly can then the cushioning is going to feel amazing for that too from a fit perspective the toe box isn't overly wide but it does feel spacious there's really good lockdown from the midfoot and the ankle area so in short these should suit a range of foot shapes i do find that they run up ever so slightly smaller than other brooks models that i have but that didn't compromise the comfort at all i would still choose my normal running shoe size in them going up half a size would make them far too big but it's maybe something to consider if you are in between half sizes the only part i would change on the upper is the tongue I just found it slightly too thick. I would prefer it slightly thinner, but I am nitpicking at that. And there'll be a lot of runners who disagree with me and who absolutely love that plush and padded tongue. In comparison to other Brooks models, these are on another level when it comes to cushioning. They are just so much more cushioned and energetic than the likes of the standard glycerin model. In comparison to other brands, the best, probably comparable models are the likes of the Saucony Triumph 22, the On Cloud Eclipse and the Asics Gel Nimbus. I think it's fair to say that up until this point, Brooks has been behind the curve in the world of Max cushioned running shoes, but that is no longer the case. These are without doubt one of the most comfortable and cushioned running shoes you will ever try. Now, there is a note of caution when it comes to using these. If you were to run in the Brutes Glycerin Max running shoes for all of your miles, you might start to find that you become a little bit reliant on the cushioning. So if you're doing quite a lot of miles, there's probably a lot of merit or there is going to be a lot of merit by rotating between different shoes, opting for a more responsive, slightly lower stacked option on certain runs means that you will then probably notice more of a benefit from this extra cushioning when you need it. So on those days when your muscles are feeling particularly tired and you do need to bank those miles and you're trying to really take the stress off your legs, saving it for those days could be a really good way to utilize the extra cushioning in these. On the other hand, let's say you're really struggling to increase your running mileage because you're too sore after your runs you maybe have tired legs from the daily stresses of life you may be very fatigued after finishing work then in that case actually using the glycerin max on a more frequent basis could really help improve your weekly volume and increase how many miles you're doing and that's just because the cushioning is taking so much stress off your working muscles and joints and as we know one of the best ways to improve your running is by increasing the volume and how much load you're accumulating. In summary then, DNA Tuned is one of the most exciting innovations of 2024. And there is no doubt that the Glycerin Max are an absolute game changer for Brooks. I think you can probably tell from this review that I'm very excited about these shoes. And that's just because there are so many applications and end uses for these. These are the perfect option for performance oriented runners who are clocking a lot of miles when they want to just take as much stress off their working muscles as possible. But on the other hand, there's so many runners out there who are just trying to train more consistently and don't want to get sore legs and as many injuries. And there is a very high chance that these will significantly reduce the likelihood of you getting problems from your runs so that you can train on a more frequent basis and keep improving your running. That brings me to the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions at all about the Brooks Glycerin Max, please comment on the episode and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you soon.